What's up guys? Today I've got my hands on another brand new Anne Burnick handheld game console. This is the RG405M. This one has an all metal design finished in black. You have a 4 inch IPS touchscreen display powered by the Unisoc T618 octa-core clocked at 2 GHz along with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 GB eMMC internal storage. Now I also have a 128GB microSD card pre-installed which will give me over 3000 games. But you can also get this in 256 model which will give you over 4000 games. The handheld is compact in size at only 16cm wide, 7.6cm in height and 1.59cm in depth and it weighs only 260 grams. So this handheld can play games from a variety of generations ranging from old school arcade classics, Neo Geo, SNES, NES, Game Boy Advance to the more recent PS2 and 3DS. So looking at the controls, you have a D-pad, two clickable joysticks, XYBA, home, select and start. On top you have your four trigger buttons, L1, L2, R1, R2. And in between you have your power button, volume rocker and type C charging port. At the bottom you have a micro SD card slot, headphone jack and your dual speaker grills. So powering on we'll load up Android 12 with Anne Burnick's custom skin on top which is very user friendly. You simply navigate and select a console you wish to play and then select a game from the list. It's simple as that. Okay so now we're going to test out a few games to see what sort of performance we can get from this thing. Starting off with the PS2 test. So first up we are playing God of War and you can see the game is playing absolutely fine and we are playing all of the PS2 games at their native resolution. Next PS2 game, Fight Night Round 3, absolutely struggling. The game is literally too slow to play. It's playing back in slow motion. And similar results when I tried to play Smackdown vs Raw 2011. So again the game is playing back too slow. So mixed bag of results with PS2 emulation. Some games work and some of the bigger games absolutely struggle. And John Cena's in complete control. So next up PSP test. Now this is where this thing shines. We are playing Tekken 6, 60 FPS and the game looks and plays quite nice. You can play virtually any PSP game full speed, 60 FPS, no issues at all. So yes, I really enjoy playing PSP games on this. Okay, let's go. And to my surprise, Wii games also looked and played quite nicely on this console. So Tatsunoko vs Capcom plays beautifully. Absolutely love playing this game on a handheld format. Um, so yeah, definitely good for Wii games. Now this console also has enough performance and power to play your favourite 3DS games too. Now I'm not a huge fan of the screen layout, but I believe this can be customised to full screen within settings. But nevertheless, pretty decent performance overall for 3DS. Next up, one of my favourite consoles of all time, the Dreamcast. And you can see it plays amazingly well. Really fun having a Dreamcast portable in your hands. And when we talk about portability, an N64 portable console would have been a dream come true for mo most of us retro gaming fans out there. Well, this brings you slightly closer to that dream and it does it extremely well. Great fun playing your favorite N64 games on this. So there you have it guys, that was the Anne Burnick RG405M. Now I think this is the first Anne Burnick handheld to feature the Unisoc T618 chipset. So it's giving you a slightly more powerful performance than what we've seen in the past from these Anne Burnicks. And it gives you the ability to run some PS2 games at comfortable speeds. Although the more popular PS2 titles do struggle to maintain a playable speed. Now saying that, every other console I tested on this worked absolutely fine. I especially enjoyed playing PSP, DC and N64. 
Now the ability to emulate multiple consoles is great. The software is user friendly. You can add more games as required. You can swap out the SD card for a bigger capacity whenever you like. The controls actually feel quite good. Although I do actually prefer wider trigger buttons, you do eventually get used to these. Now at this price point, I would have loved to see Hall triggers um, or even Hall effect joysticks. But unfortunately, you are not getting those features in this console. Overall build quality is top notch. All metal design feels really nice in the hands. Screen is pretty nice to look at at four inches. For me personally, any smaller than four inches um, and I'm struggling to see what's on the screen. Battery life is pretty solid. I was easily achieving over six hours. Sound quality is surprisingly good. Loud and clear, really nice sounds. So that concludes this video and I hope you found it useful. I do appreciate if you could hit that like and sub button. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.